here we are in Dubai. We're at, uh, it's a GTEC sort of affiliated event, uh, North Star. Do you want to introduce yourself, the name of your company? Hello everyone, I'm Daniel, a former professional bodybuilder, but now startup founder of Aquivio. Um, so what we are doing is hydration as a service, decentralizing the beverage ecosystem. Uh, now what, the reason why I started this company was simply because I realized the way we hydrate is not correct and we detached from nature too much. But we are in a smart day and age so we can use automation, digitalization and make cities really smart for the quality of life of all the people. And all the lessons I learned from professional sports, working together with scientists in the field, it just made me urge to somehow bring this back into our everyday lifestyle. So this is water more like the kind of water that would fall from the sky if we were in a state of nature? And especially mountain springs, the environmental conditions and I mean unfortunately us, our human progress is even yeah, threatening those natural areas where you can get these ideal water sources. But we can never recreate nature but we should be at least trying to use technology for good and make it as close as we can by our limited understanding. That was really authentically my first sip of the Red Bull flavored, supposedly flavored with natural flavorings. Water that chemically, you can say chemically, is less like your standard urban water and more like water in a state of nature. That's the basic concept. And I've been begging uh, Daniel to, to include a link on his site to all the science for those of us that want to geek out uh, Aquivio is the name of the company, fascinating backstory, uh, German by birth, right? But moved to Taiwan to start his company. We're meeting in Dubai, and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is one of your first clients. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're a Taiwanese startup company, then we became a U.S. Delaware holding um, through our latest investment round, Singapore subsidiary, and Kingdom of Saudi Arabia next. And I hope soon we will be in the U.S. I mean, I live there, and I want to be back. And, and so welcome to Boston, if you, if you come back to Boston. Uh, one more time, Aquivio, Aquivio, is that how we say it, Aquivio? Aquivio, correct. And why did you choose Taiwan? Let's end on that. Um, Taiwan was the absolute perfect one-stop shop for rapid prototyping. Um, we went through six prototyping stages in half a year. Um, the connectivity of the island is absolutely marvelous. You can cover the whole island in one day, every major city, and have meetings all over. And the people are super friendly and, and very open for um, prototyping and doing things. Be hands-on, be there a lot, but then you can do a lot very fast. And you discovered that partly because one of your co-founders, the person that works on hardware is from there, I think? That yes, that's correct. Uh, I mean, Taiwanese-American is my second co-founder, so yes. Well, so anyways, hope this video doesn't get us taken down in any jurisdictions where Taiwan might be a controversial subject. Uh, hello to our Taiwanese friends. Hello to anybody with any opinion on Taiwan. We're not excluding you from definitely learning about Aquivio and the fact that your modern water might not be optimal for your health, that maybe we need to be taking steps to be mindful of, of water quality. And who knows, maybe um, a, a startup like Aquivio that takes the plastic bottles out of the equation, improves the quality of the water that comes out of the machines, and also lets, at the point of distribution, wherever these units are, it's connected all to the internet so people gather information about what people are consuming, right? If I'm... Correct. And um, yeah. Personalized hydration, so to speak. Yeah. And I mean, a core concept we need to always recognize is sustainability is in everybody's mind, but in order to make a habit change, we need to incentivize it. And what better way than creating a win-win-win scenario where the nature wins, where the operators win, but also the end consumers. And that's what we're trying to do, creating a value chain where everybody wins and positive behavior is incentivized. But last question, because it is delicious. <laughs> Again, not a paid advertisement. It's, it's good tasting water. Um, the ideal clients, what are your top clients? Are they businesses that need to have hydration stations, municipalities? I mean, a, a natural fit is, of course, gyms uh, and sports centers, but also um, offices, corporate offices love it uh, as a, a facility perk for their staff. Right. Um, but at the same time, um, also residences and uh, luxury apartment complexes. Um, ultimately, our goal, however, is the whole infrastructure for an area, a facility, a venue, a sports stadium, or even the city. Okay, on that note, uh Fida saying goodbye. How do we say it in, in Taiwanese, Chinese, goodbye?
That's, that's <laughs> 40 Tsai, years in I, Taiwan. I think it's Tai Tian. If, if anybody uh, speaks Mandarin, Tai Tian? Tai Tian? Yes, uh, Tian. Yeah, it's like Bai, like the, the uh, Mandarin very, Chinese. Very, and I believe since we're in the Arab world here, Ma Salam, go in peace. Ma Salam, my friends. Stay thirsty, my friends. Ma Salam, small trademark violation there, maybe of a certain trademark. Stay thirsty. Huh? Do you recognize the? Do you recognize the, the trademark? The tagline. Stay I believe. Stay thirsty. I feel, I, we want. We want you to not be thirsty anymore. <laughs> Excellent. See, it might have been a certain beer company was using "Stay Thirsty, oh, My right, Friends." Right. But here's the answer: Equivio wants you to stay hydrated. Exactly. Stay hydrated, my friends. And your go. water, your way. You heard the new. T your water, your way. Yeah. You heard it here first. Sayonara, Tai Tian, Masalam. <laughs>